Lasers are usually known for making things hot. They have different uses depending on the fields, burning tumors for example. But what people don't know is that lasers can cool things. Basically, the difference between this hot water and these ice cubes is that in the first glass, the molecules are separated and not ordered. And in the second one, they're stuck together and tidied. Besides, in this glass, the molecules are moving so fast, and in this one, they're barely moving. Which means that if you want to cool something, you have to slow its molecules down, using laser in our case. It can sound strange because we add energy to decrease energy. It would be like putting out a fire using fire. The thing is, molecules and atoms are constantly moving in different directions. So in order to slow them down, you have to push them in the opposite direction of their motion. And to do so, you need one of the most common sources of energy, light. Even though it doesn't have a mass, light carries momentum. Momentum is the, the amount of movement contained in something. Okay, so now how does it stop them? It's simple. When an atom is moving towards the laser source, it absorbs the photon and it stops moving. But the problem is, it will only stop an atom moving in only one direction. What if it's moving in all random directions? Well, you simply add more lasers. Right, left, top, bottom, front and back which means that you need six lasers in order to stop a particle that could be moving in, in combination of the six directions. More concretely, this is how you're supposed to position your lasers. You just put your six sources right where the arrows are in this picture, and of course, they have to be facing the atom. That way, the light will reach them and cool them. And that's how it works. You're probably wondering when do we use laser cooling? Well, it's mainly used in physics. In their experiments, scientists have to create extremely cold atoms. And thanks to laser, they have reached microkelvins, pretty close to the absolute zero, which equals minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. And it can also be used in aerobic clocks in satellites, for example. But that's complicated. Science will never stop surprising us. Every day, we learn and discover new things. And being able to spread the knowledge is amazing.